What is up, everybody? Listen, I am excited to be with you guys and to share with you guys my testimony and my music journey and to play a little something for you on keys. My man Kyle reached out to me and said, bro, it would be great for you to be able to do a video on my live stream and and uh, play a little something and just encourage some of the young adults and maybe even adults that are still seeking or trying to figure out what their gift is in ministry. Uh, just to start off, man, I was not classically trained uh, when I first started out. All I had was a desire to play. That's that's all I had. I wanted to play and not in a big on a big stage, not on TV, though some of that stuff has happened, that was not my initial desire. It was just to play in church. And you know what the thing about it is, I went to a revival in Georgia. His name is a uh, Apostle Leonard, Apostle Forrest Leonard. And he was amazing, God rest his soul, on the piano. Preaching machine, it was in the dirty south, church until one o'clock in the morning, foot stomping, hand clapping. They were going in. So we went to this church service. He happens to be a good friend of my father. My father played too. It was a revival. And my dad told Apostle Leonard that I had a strong desire to play piano. He pulled me out in front of everybody, got some anointing oil, rubbed it in his hands, grabbed my hands, and said, God, the same gift that you have given me, double it and give it to him because he has a desire to use it for your glory. And let me tell you something. I don't know if it was psychological or what it was, but my hands felt warm. I was low key scared a little bit, but I was excited at the same time. And guess what? Nothing happened after that. <laughs> I went home excited about the experience. And then I I forgot when, when I got a keyboard, but I got a little fake little old Yamaha keyboard. And the learning curve was not there. I was just, it was literally, I just started picking up and playing uh, and learn and just playing it was amazing. It was it was absolutely amazing how quickly I started to learn how to play and then it just kept growing and growing and growing. And one thing that really was amazing is I started to hang around people that could do what I did, but way better. And I think that is very encouraging uh, for some of you is that whatever you want to be gifted in or whatever you feel like is your gift, you need to hang around people that have mastered that gift or at least get around people that have the same gift or desire for that gift because that's going to push you to find your identity and to be able to move and operate in it to the best of your ability. Uh, one of the things is, and I'll leave you with this and then I'll get on the piano and just share um, whatever I play. I don't even know what I'm going to play yet, but um, when I got my big opportunity to play for a pretty significant sized church, music director told me you're very talented but that's not enough in ministry and I, and I have the personality where I don't get offended I actually love criticism so I asked him to explain and he said we when you have a talent that is just the seed or the earnest or the down payment you know that that's just the the the, the beginning but you have to be willing enough to put in the work to turn that talent into a skill. A skill can be done on demand. And in ministry, we have to be able to do what we do on demand. We don't have time to warm up. We don't have time to try to try to get in the right mood. You got to be able to do what you are called to do on demand. And that's where it comes in. That's where you separate your zeal and the anointing. The anointing means that God approved your gift. He gave you your gift, but when he approves it, that means he stands by it. 
That means you put in the work and put in the dedication and, and, and you've, you've fasted, you've prayed, you've been living, you've been, you've been having this strong need to do what God wants you to do so much that you go and learn even more about it. You go and study, you go and practice, and that's how you develop your anointing even stronger. Because what good is you having the anointing when you got to work it up? You got to be able to do it on demand. And that is what separates people in ministry from the gifted to the skillful and anointed. I hope that's touched somebody uh, as a recap. Get around people that has your gift. Study your gift. Make your talent a skill so that you can do it on demand and do not think about a timeline. Because when it comes to God, it, everything is possible. You can literally do it overnight if you have that type of faith. And what that is, if you have the understanding that God can do all things, there's no limit. The sky is not even the limit. You can do it. Trust God. Find your gift. Find what you want to do. Ask for prayer. Your pastor can lay hands on you. That happens. That's impartation. It is real. I'm a prime example of that. I hope that helps somebody. I'm about to get up here and play. I don't know what I'm about to play, but hit me up. Follow me on social media. Uh, uh, I'm a friend of Kyle, so I'm definitely um, in his friend search or whatever. And, and definitely it's it's probably on the screen uh, uh, right here. It'll be right here on the screen. <laughs>